Hello, Tiermanski. We're in uh, Culver City at Saint Amour. You are a consulting chef? Yes, I'm a consulting chef here at uh, Saint Amour while I'm working on my own future project. So, you love French food, huh? To the point that you're in a French restaurant in the middle of downtown Carver City. I love France, I love French food. And um, yes, this is a. There's not a lot of very authentic French brasseries left, so we're keeping it authentic and good and true and um, implementing the elements of the farmer's market and making it a little lighter and fresher to fit California. And then you've not always. I mean, pretty much your life you've cooked French food, but not. All the time, yeah. This no, I I love Italian food. I love Asian food. My wife is from Asia, so we go there a lot. Um, but uh, you know, somehow I I love French stuff. But you France managed to, a, to keep the you know the, the, the heart of the French breast, even though your wife is from Asia. And then when chefs have Asian wife, they get influenced in their cuisine. I see that they you really kept kept to the French. Well, I, Basic I, of the restaurant. I think it's I think it's very important. I think there's parameters. If you're an Italian restaurant, there's certain things that you should do and shouldn't do. And the same with a French brasserie. A brasserie has certain things like the frise lardon and the escargots, and you may be able to do it in a different modern way with some California ingredients, but you should stay true to what it really is. Yeah. So we'll set some pâtés and. Pâté en croûte and uh, rillette and uh, uh, you know French breast of her mussels and fries. Yes. Uh, you mentioned the frise au lardon. We had yeah. a very nice uh, lettuce with a yeah, that was, uh, citrusy um, seasoning. Yes, there was um, some lettuce that we bought today at the farmers market here in Culver City and had uh, four or five different radishes thinly sliced and just some lemon and olive oil. Yeah, and love the dressing was, uh, it was just perfect. And then, uh, we had a dorade. We had a dorade with some uh, little tomatoes yeah, and artichokes. Yeah, cherry tomatoes. Then tiny, tiny one. Very light. And of course, in the French recipe, you have to have duck. Duck confit. Uh, with potatoes, so we have uh, them. Potatoes cooked in the duck fat, roasted. Yeah, and uh, we had a poulet, chicken. Poulet. With very nice French peas. Very fresh yes. for the market. Now we have a season for peas. Yeah, they were there soon. And then, uh, Came the sweets. Did I forget any savory dishes? I think we went through every savory. No, we had a steak tartare. The steak tartare. Yeah. Also a classic there, brasserie. Yes. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, steak tartare. And um, we ended up with some very delicate sweets. Dark, very simple. We had a, a creme brulee, which is very classic, of course. Yeah, but there, every, everybody does creme brulee. It's actually not that complicated to do, but some are way better than others, and that was one of the way better than others. Well, that's good. It's good ingredients, good vanilla, and, and cooked correctly. That's the most important part. It can't be undercooked and it can't be overcooked. Uh, we had two uh, photo creme. One was a uh, lemon, lemon, berry, and, uh, and some uh, grapefruit granite on the top. And, and, uh, and then the last one was the cho chocolate photo creme. Dark uh, Valrhona chocolate with some. Uh, Caramel and a little sea salt. That was just perfect. That one, I mean, it's like the creme brulee. Those two do not change the recipe there. And then the little caramel just right on top, like a very thin coat of it. It was just a perfect balance with the chocolate on the Perfect. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Sam. You're welcome.